I just want them to live at this point. You know, we have this conversation of, of white privilege. I'd like to create black privilege. There's a lot that comes with that in the way of having access to, you know, higher education, better paying jobs. But I also think that a part of white privilege is the wealth that comes along with it. There's properties that are passed down. There's trust funds that are put away for the kids. I would like them to know what property ownership is. I want them to know what sustainable living is about. Um, again, creating that black privilege. I want this to be part of the ongoing legacy that my grandfather has built, where he gave us that chance, he gave us that start. My name is Yidam Dumban Sek. I've literally been in the Central District my whole life. This was all, at one point, um, operated by my grandfather. He, he occupied this space for, I think it was 27 years. Heating fuel, so firewood is mainly what he sold, and Christmas trees during the holidays. So, like literally, my whole family was employed here. Yeah, we worked. We worked here. Like my brothers, uncles, cousins, my grandfather like employed everybody. He probably looked at the tools he had and realized that he had been empowered to provide something bigger than him for the rest of us. In that sense. It's be responsible. You know what you need to do. You know what you want to do. You know what your calling is. Handle that responsibility. And that's how I look at my art. Stole my grandpa's land, then a lot of different private use. Cops looking at my black skin, looking at my black Tims, matching with the black brim. Damn, they don't like these black kids. Look what they did to Trayvon. Look what they did to I think there has to be something bigger behind the music. It came out of a conversation with my kids. And for our kids to sit back and literally be watching people get murdered by police, you know, seeing people who look just like them. And in the case of Tamir Rice, who's a little kid, same age as my kids, I can only imagine how that is psychologically, you know, messing with them. Black people, I don't think, have a problem having these conversations with their kids, because we're fully in the fight right now. Whereas the more privileged individuals don't have to deal with these issues, they can get up and walk out of the room. But as a result, I don't think they're giving their kids uh, understanding. Um, it was about how black people were getting shot and stuff by the police, and my dad wanted to talk about it with the class and see if anyone else's parents were talking to them about it. We showed the video in class and posed some very simple questions to them, and you quickly realize that even though these kids are silent, they're very aware of what's happening. I feel like we should have asked the parents first. Why? <clears throat> and that's what she said. We don't need to ask she the parents. She said, I, as a teacher, do not get permission from people for what I, what I teach. This is stuff that they need to But learn. I think they're the, the the kids going home and asking questions now based upon this conversation is what will they come to me directly? Probably not. No. Look what they did to Mike Brown. Now Sterling and Philando Dan. We call it beef. They call it burgers. They call it justice. We call it murder, murder, murder. We call it murder. We call it She had a knowledge of slavery and was curious of what that was all about. The first route we watched was that um, that the people that were planning to put the black people on the ship, the ship was big and they were just gonna plan on putting all the slate, like the black people and on the ship and huddling them up together like really tight. So now she's in a situation where she's witnessing everything that's happened to people of color in the past, and then that shit's still happening now. Like, we don't really learn things about black people because I don't know why, it's just that we don't. It makes me kind of sad because we don't really learn about black people and how they were slaves. And the hardest question I've ever had to answer, which I still couldn't, to her it's, how come black people are always the victims? How come people of color are always the victims? Why were we enslaved and why did they treat us so badly? I'm black and I, I don't, 
the it makes me happy to be black what we found was something sacred unity and black pride you spending money on black pride while i strive to save these black lives we call it beef they call it burgers they call it justice we call it murder murder